Welcome back to Oldsford, my model railway of Oldsford. It's um, coming along nicely and as you can see I now have some colour and some scenery and some buildings which has added, added a lot to the, uh, the model. As you can see the station is fairly complete with most of the buildings now in place. Um, I've got the station building, the signal box and the waiting room and seats and telephone boxes all sorts of coming along there very nicely now. I've also done a lot of work down on the farm and I've got farmhouse, farm buildings and even some animals that I've dotted around at the moment. They're just there temporarily until I find a permanent home for them. But there's a few trees that have started to grow over in the farm area, which is bringing it to life nicely. And as you can see, the villages still need a lot of work done to it. I have a few buildings there. I have more buildings to build, but it's very bland at the moment. And it's, I'm just trying to get an idea of where to fit things and how to, things are gonna do. So at the moment, they're all very temporary there. So there's some lighting underneath there which uh, will help it soon, and, but the buildings are just temporarily put there. This is also a temporary paper model I've made of the grain store, and again, that's something else I have to do, but it's still a work in progress. So, also, it's coming along, it's not finished yet, but I'm enjoying every moment of it. Keep modelling. So on the layouts I've used a lot of Metcalf uh, buildings that I find really really good actually but um, Metcalf unfortunately do not make um, Oldsford railway station buildings or the storehouses or signal boxes that I re require. So what I've, what I've done is using PowerPoint I've designed at 148 scale paper uh, constructions that I build um, also using Google Maps where you can measure stuff quite accurately as well. Um, so I'm trying to get a sense of scale, but even at 148 scale, sometimes the buildings don't quite look right, the perspective is not quite right. So I can, using the PowerPoint, I can then make the kits slightly bigger or slightly smaller, so I can then um, get a good idea how big I want to make the final model. So what I'm going to do now is print out um, some of these kits and then um, show you how I can make the model from that. Once I've cut these out, I will then stick them to get the sellotape, place them on the layout and see how it looks. Right, I've now cut out the pieces I need the, uh, to build the warehouse. And now it's just a case of getting a bit of sellotape and sticking them together. And uh, in a minute I should stick it up onto the layout and see how it looks for scale and size. And there it is, a very rough paper model of the Scats warehouse that I want to put at Oldsford Railway Station. I've now put the uh, paper model on the layout to get an idea of size and scale to see if it's uh, the right size and if it's what I actually want. And once I'm happy with it, I can then start building the proper model and hey presto, there is the model I've decided to go with. This is all made out of cardboard and using a few odds and ends, window frames that I found in other kits and models. And uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I think that works quite well. <laughs> 